Hi everyone, welcome to Mind Shop Studio. I'm Chris and Kyle. And today we're going to show you a little bit about Microbit. Yeah. You like doing Microbit, right? What? Okay. And the great thing about Microbit is you don't even need to have an actual Microbit to use it because when you use the editor, they have a built-in simulator so you can actually do microbit without having a microbit. Now we're going to be programming our microbit with blocks using a scratch-like language, which makes programming a lot easier, I think. You don't have to write all the code. I really hope one day we'll be able to program without writing any code. That would be awesome. So our first lesson is called Once and Forever. And whenever you load up your micro bit, you get to this page here. And as you can see, you've got a start block and a forever block. Kyle, what does a start block do? Well, when something starts, you're going, you're going to do it. Okay. It happens first. It happens first. And it happens one time. Yeah. Okay. And what about the forever block? Forever, but I'm going to do it forever. Okay, so it runs over and over and over again. Yeah. Very good. All right. Hey, before we get started, let's do a little puzzle. What do you think? Yes. Okay, take a look here. Hello. What do you see? Time for bed. Time for bed. Hmm, maybe you knew this one already. Okay. What about this one? Don't be late. Oh, you knew this one too. Boy, I'm gonna have to find some harder puzzles for you. If you have a microbit, you can connect it up to your computer. And if you don't have a microbit, we're just gonna use a simulator like this. You wanna go to the webpage makecode.microbit.org and then it will bring you to the editor and you can get started. So again, we're gonna be in the basic menu. We've got some show blocks in the basic menu and the show blocks allow us to show things on the display. We can use show number to show. Show numbers, like this one. Okay, what, what do we show with show number? I'll stop or forever. Kyle, yeah. you're jumping the gun. I didn't say you need, I, I asked you, what does show number show? Show number zero block, you're going to show the number. Okay. And what about show LEDs? What does that block do? You're going to shape, you're going to show the shape that you're choosing. Okay. It's going to show the lights that you tell it to show. And what about show icon? Show icon. Show icon, you can tell the you can choose the block. Right. You can choose the blocks. Uh, you can choose the icon that has already been made for you in the system. So you don't have to draw your own pictures. You can just use one that's already done. And then there's show string. Show string. Show string. Hello. Okay. But what is show? What's the difference between show string and show number? Show string is showing what? Show number is showing the list. It's showing the number. Very good. Show string can show numbers, but when you put numbers in show string, they're not treated as numbers anymore, meaning you can't do math with them. That's the big difference there. All right, and then we have a pause block that allows us to stop doing something so that we can show some information on the screen for a little bit of time. And of course, on start and forever. Okay, so Kyle, first, I want you to create a start block that shows a heart. Can you do that? Yep. A start block that shows a heart. It's only forever. Uh, you might need it later, so don't throw it away. Let's see. There it is. Heart. Good job, Kyle. Now, Kyle, take that heart block out of the uh, start block for a second and just put it. Yeah, just stop. Okay. So you'll notice when you have a block that's not where it's supposed to be, or maybe there's a problem with it, it turns what Kyle and I like to call ghosty, meaning 
there's a problem with that block. So if you see ghosty blocks, you know, maybe I need to pay attention to that and fix it. All right, Kyle, go ahead and put it back where it was. Okay. Don't slow it down. All right. Now, Kyle, I want you to create a forever block that displays a smiley face. And we always have a forever block. So yes. Let me show you how to find Did you click the smiley face? What happened? There you go. Now, since we're using a start block and a forever block, the first thing that happens is we show the heart from the start block and then it switches to the smiley face in the forever block. So Kyle, you did a great job there. And Kyle, why don't you show them how you can duplicate a block? You do the right click. Right click on a block. Right click on your block. You like this, going to duplicate, duplicate. Two, of, two of those. Uh-oh. Can you have two on start? No. No. You can only have one on start block. Yeah. But yes, that is how you duplicate. Thanks, Kyle. Go ahead and throw that away. Awesome. Now, Kyle, I want you to add another image to the forever block. Why don't you put something else in the forever block? Anything you want. Okay. You duplicated it. Very good. All right. So Kyle chose a t-shirt and then we get the heart when we start and then we get the forever block running and you notice it keeps switching between the smiley face and the t-shirt because the forever block is kind of a loop. It just goes again and again and again. Good and, job, Kyle. And then the square becomes green to start it. Okay, Kyle, I want you to add a pause to the forever block. Put it a pause inside or in between the show, the smiley face and the t-shirt, okay? Okay, pause. Good. Now, pause is in milliseconds. So every number represents one millisecond or one one thousandth of a second. The default is 100 milliseconds. Kyle, why don't you set that to 200 milliseconds, please? Or two tenths of a second. All right, and let's look and see what happens. Now we get a little bit of a pause between the smiley face and the t-shirt. No pause between the t-shirt and the smiley face. You see it quickly switches back. Good job, Kyle. Uh, why don't you go ahead and create your own picture? Get out a block from Basic, the Show LED block, and just make a picture you like. Okay. All right, Kyle created an X. And there it goes. Now the X is in the loop. And you can see the difference between the pause between the smiley face and the t-shirt and no pause between the t-shirt and the X. Very good. All right, Kyle, are you ready for a challenge? Yeah. Okay. So I want you to start a new app. So click the home. Can we save this? Do you want to save it? No. Okay, then just skip. Uh, okay, so Kyle, I want you to have the micro bit display a skull on. And the show icon has a little drop down arrow showing that you can have some options in there. And that's a good thing to look for when you're working with these blocks. A lot of the blocks have options, which makes them a little bit easier and more dynamic to use as opposed to just having to type everything in or going back and getting a different block. A lot of times you can grab a block and then you can duplicate the block, use the drop down arrow to get a different block, a different function that you want. Did you find the skull? So there's a scroll bar, why don't you scroll down? Yeah. 
Do you see the skull now? There you go. Good job. All right. Then I want you to have the micro bit wait one second and clear the screen. Under basic, there's a more menu, and in the more menu, you can find clear screen. Good job, Kyle. Okay, there's more to this challenge. So now we're gonna wait another half second and then show a dot in the middle of the screen. So you wanna put a dot in the middle of the screen. And I want you to put this in the forever block, okay? Good. And then after that, I want you to wait 200 milliseconds and display a small square. Two hundred. Two hundred, baby. And as you notice, Kyle is holding down the mouse button on the show LED block, and that allows you to change the lights from off to on. So it also works to change them from on to off. If you hold down the mouse button, it's like you're keeping that same function with all the LEDs that you pass over with your cursor. All right, now another 200 millisecond pause and then a big square. Good job, duplicate. Now, actually, Kyle, I think there's an icon for a big square. Why don't you try a show icon block? See the big square? Good. All right, and now Kyle's created a little animation that almost looks like a bubble popping or something. It starts off with a little dot, it grows, and then it grows even bigger, and then it starts over again. That's a pretty cool little animation. Let me see. Oh, you took the center dot out. That's even cooler. Good job, Kyle. Give me five. All right, so Kyle, today we did some basic blocks. Yeah. We used on start and we used forever. Yeah. What other blocks did we use, Kyle? Pop, clear squeeze, show icon. Okay, and one more. Show. Show. Show LEDs. And we use show LEDs too. Very good. All right. Did you have fun? Yeah. Very good. Now, if you're still with us at this point, thank you very much. Please give us a like. And we're going to have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, for those of you that are playing at home, I will have a little quiz for you. Take a look at the blocks on this screen and tell me. What will the blocks do? What you can do is leave me a comment down below. Tell me what will these blocks do? Now you can try them yourself or you should be able to just read the blocks, look at the blocks and know what they will do. Now look at these blocks, not you, and tell me what will these blocks do? <laughs> Kyle likes to let the cat out of the bag. 
Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what these blocks will do, and I'll let you know if you got the... All right, well, that's the end of our first lesson. I hope you really enjoyed it, and well, now it's time to go. So say... Bye-bye. Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you again soon.